differentiating y equals 3x times e to the 2x minus 5 e to the x power. Now, on the first term, let's see if we can make this bigger. The first term, we have to use a product rule. Oh, that's the product of 3x squared, 3x, and 2x squared. Look, we're multiplying 3x by 2x, I'm sorry, e raised to the 2x power, right? So I'll do this red times orange first. And then I'll just come back and do this one later, okay? So here we go. Let us do a product rule with those red times orange. Product rule. We use three or four different pieces, right? Uh, first times the derivative of the second plus second times the derivative of the first, okay? Where first is the red that we're multiplying first, right? 3x. What is the derivative of 3x? Just 3. Now, g is the second piece of the multiplication, which is e raised to the 2x power. Let's talk about finding the derivative of this, okay? When you write the derivative of an exponential term with base e, you copy it down exactly the same. But you multiply this by the derivative of the exponent. What is the exponent? 2x, right? So what is the derivative of 2x? 2. So that is g prime. So we got all our four pieces ready. I am about to um, put them together now. Okay, so let's do y prime equals. So this work is just my scratch work. Okay. All right, start with f. f is 3x. So write down 3x times 3x g prime. g prime is this right there. So I'll say that is 2 times e raised to the 2x power plus uh, what's next g g is that exponential term e raised to the 2x power and product rule says multiply that by f prime f prime is just 3 put this in a parenthesis all right i am done differentiating this red times orange i now need to subtract this by the derivative of 5 e to the x power now this is an exponential term with base e right let me just do this on the as a tail look the right side over here minus um the 5 will remain the same but what is the derivative of e to the x power? Just e to the x power. Okay? So it didn't really change, right? Because I'll write the note over here, okay? Derivative of 5 times e to the x power equals 5 times to the x power is exactly the same okay <laughs> so that's why that purple tail is just what that is okay now um i don't think there's much i can do about this um because usually we like to factor out that exponential term but the exponential terms are all looking different so at least what i can do is just i'll try to work with this i'll try to try to simplify this one first okay just that part yeah i may just do that um I can factor out that exponential term e to the 2x, right? They have that in common. Well, not only that, both of them have 3, don't they? So I'll factor out that 3 e to the 2x out. Right? If I do that, what's left over here? 
x times 2, right? So I'll write down 2x inside. Plus, what's left if I factor out this and this? It's like you divide e to the 2x times 3 by e to the 2x times 3. You divide something by itself. If you divide anything by itself, you get 1. So we still have to put 1. So I'm done factoring out the GCF from the gray underlying part. Put that purple negative 5 e to the x power. I mean, I guess I can try to factor out e to the x out instead of e to the 2x out from just the first two terms. But really, um, I'll, I'll do my best to give you or make a exam problem where you get to factor out an exponential term from all three terms instead of just the first two, okay? But for this one, I mean, that's it. I think uh, what was beautiful about this problem, well, the fact that we got to review the product row, but that was it for question number four.